former AT&T executive now, Mo Katiba, has left the company. He's taken the COO job at Ring Central. Let's take a look at these details, and then we can kind of maybe speculate a little bit what this means for AT&T, the direction they may go, and how this is going to impact their wireless network and their fiber build. All right, so longtime AT&T executive Mo Katiba is joining Ring Central as the CEO, effective January 18th, which is next week. All right, he, uh, as well as other AT&T executives, have been coming and going over the last several years. That in and of itself is not unusual, but his role was really, really important for what we cover here on the channel. So he worked, you know, with products and services. He had marketing responsibilities, wholesale, indirect channels. You know, he was part of the, you know, the critical network infrastructure and build of AT&T. So building out 5G, the fiber deployments, you know, the planning, the execution, all of that was on him. He was assigned these duties, uh, I want to say maybe mid last year, right, 2021. So now he moves to this new position. It's quite possible that he moved in just with this vertical orientation, just looking for a higher ceiling. You know, maybe he's got his sights set on a CEO position, and that just wasn't in the cards for him at AT and T. So he he kind of moved on. I don't think there's any type of bad blood between Mo and anybody at the AT and T side. Not that I know of. It doesn't seem apparent or anything like that, but. I, I think that's probably what it is. I think in most cases in the executive world, in the corporate world, it's always about just vertical movement, getting paid better, ascending, you know, getting higher paid positions, you know, having to answer to other executives kind of sucks. <laughs> so like maybe having less bosses matters to some people and that may have happened here. I don't know. Uh, but I think why this is important is, you know, Mo was in charge of the network build, the planning and the execution. Is any of that going to change for AT&T? We don't know. In fact, I don't even know really who his successor is directly or how they're going to realign the company if they're not going to fulfill his position or if they're going to turn his position into maybe two positions or they do some kind of consolidation of responsibilities with another position. Because, again, there are certain things happening at AT&T you know, that, that could change some things. All right, And I'm not really sure. I don't have my pulse internal on the direction they're going just yet. As that becomes available in public, you know, and that information, I get a hold of it. I will definitely bring it to the discussion points of a podcast or a video like this, because at this point in time, we care about one thing, and that is AT&T continuing their positive momentum in wireless as they continue to add customers. They compete fiercely for business. I mean, they're the growth company now. Uh, organically, without any type of free lines, they have even sold T-Mobile, outsold T-Mobile for several quarters, right? And Honestly, I love what they're doing. I think their their network has improved greatly. It's getting larger. It's getting faster. I love the fiber build. Everything is absolutely tremendous there as it pertains to these types of things. And I think many of the viewers and subscribers here can agree. But uh, what do you guys think about the direction AT&T is going? Uh, do you guys think they moved away from this guy? Do you think it was more about just him leaving? Uh, what do you think is going to happen in his replacement? What do you think they need to do, if anything? Do they, should they change anything? Should they continue on the path they're on? Uh, I would like to see them accelerate their wireless build personally, especially with C-band. Uh, and they're going to have Spectrum to, to give. Block AC band and then, of course, Spectrum Auction 110 is done. We'll see very soon how much Spectrum AT&T and other carriers got. And his replacement will be in charge of taking care of that execution and planning. So thoughts welcome down below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Uh, please do like and share this video, subscribe for more so you never miss an upload from the SMT. Links in the description for the Patreon page if you want to support us, get early access to videos and content not found anywhere else, exclusives, as well as discounts on Los Mobile just for supporting us. And then my Twitter handle and my email address is down there as well. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all in the next video.